back. You feel? We are back. We are officially back. This monster. Oh, yeah. Let's talk about it. So, first things first. This monster, the behemoth, wild. Big wild. I'm not talking about no regular, regular wild. I'm not talking about cool kind of wild. This motherfucker was completely and utterly out of pocket. Uh, pulling out a whole bunch of moves. He pulled out Meteor. He pulled out Comet. He pulled out a whole bunch of non elemental moves from Final Fantasy VII that are just heavy hitters. Uh, he also had a suicide move, which is crazy. So, yeah, he did that. Also, we have damn near no, uh, no potions. No high potions. And we have the last elixir out. I'm going to go ahead and take off that last elixir real quick. And put in regular elixir because unless I'm in the last ball, last elixir is not going to be a, a thing that I use. Because you only get one of those the whole game. So we're not doing that. Let's go ahead and close this here. We're running low. Hopefully these are all like potions or high potions. Solid. So we'll have something we can use in the next couple, ma couple matches. But we are in desperate need of some health. Yeah. Yeah, man. It's always hard to find good fucking help these days. Joshua tried to do some shit, couldn't do it by himself. Damn, what kind of move was that? But Clive is uh alive and well and doing his thing. I'm also like super high level. I think I'm level 46 now, which is a lot higher than I actually anticipated being. To the point where I have all these extra ability points and all this extra stuff, but I have no clue what to fucking do with it. The good thing is I think they're kind of, uh, they realize that, hey, I just went through a really big boss fight thing, and they've decided to give me a bunch of health, boy, because your boy needs it. I keep doing this move by accident, but it kills a lot of everything, so. Just hit him with all the supers, fuck it. Everybody gather around. I got a story to tell. It's the story of your death. Hold on one second. Line everybody up I can, and boom. Boom. Damn Joshua. Joshua's hitting that shit like it owes him money. We are trying in which to get into some shit. Talking mushrooms with all of these people here. Damn, alright. Fuck, go. Where are, damn, this place is swarming with Akashic. Like, I know that's kind of like redundant to say because they're all... They're all here? But damn, like... It's just a lot. It's a lot, that's a lot of Akashic. But I'm really kind of confused as to what what what, he, what uh the aim is for Ultima because I know that Ultima essentially wants to take over Clive's body and Clive's supposed to absorb all the dominance. But like I'm trying to think of like all right, well you just want to dominate the world and take things over. I usually feel like Final Fantasy villains have not more noble, but like. A deeper cause to their their shot their nonsense. Okay, see? How do you think, how do you feel about that armor now? How do you feel about it now? Did your armor save you? 
Look at that. But yeah, I really do feel like there's usually some sort of deeper purpose or something or other that they do. It's not necessarily noble, but it's just bigger. Like, oh, well, I want to do this because you need to return the world to da 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 It's like almost like they have their own, like, deluded notion of what's right. But Ultima, I guess, is just a god trying to establish his dominance over his dominion. I don't know. Fuck Ultima regardless, though. We're not really rocking with anything you want to do. Also, from all the stifling and all the nonsense, I'm I'm still sick. It's been I've been sick for the last four days, so uh. He's a dead man. He was gonna get the Santensuken, but since he died before that could happen, we just gonna let it rock, baby. Once we step onto that bridge, we'll be easy targets. Then we better move quickly. Oh jeez. All these dudes, y'all getting all this Giga Flare. All this Giga Flare. Um, y'all think I'm gonna fight y'all straight up? I'm not fighting y'all straight up. No, y'all getting Giga Flare. You, the one who slipped by? Yeah, Joshua got me. See that? My little brother going backdoor you, cuz. Pause. Didn't I just fight this Undertaker thing as a boss? Alright. Let's go. Yep, and then once he goes this, hit him once or twice. That, do that, switch here. Giga Flare's already back. Dead. And if he wasn't dead, he gets that Santan Suken, you feel me? But we'll hold on to it for now, because you know, that shit is, ham is helpful. It's handy. Shout out to the castle though, because this whole uh, wandering around and fighting a whole bunch of random people has actually. Was that a rat? What was, it? What was that? Is the rat trying to lead me to a. Ooh, treasure chest. Um, yeah. If. Uh, yeah, what was it? Oh, yeah, the. The health problem is no longer a problem because basically I didn't recoup most of the health and the potions and stuff that I uh, that I had there, so we sitting pretty. I'm literally just missing one high potion away from being maxed. 
And they gave me a regular potion to spite me. And now, your boy is at full health. Just about. Oh, well. Yeah, I'm at full health regardless. But man, this whole new moveset is, is fantastic right now. Okay. Jesus. I fought like 50 versions of the same. All right, so let's talk about that too. So now that I'm fighting, hey man, the last one I fought was a hunt, which is supposed to be harder than this. But can we talk about how we're fighting like this eight versions of the same different animals a lot? Like, okay, you get a regular Koro, you get an Akashic Koro, you get a special hunt Koro. I still can't time the attacks anyway, regardless of how many times I fought this thing. It's like, come on, bro. Now he's gonna go ahead and let's see. Do one of these. Do one of these. This should kill him actually once I hit him with the Santin Sugin thing. Dead. I see you here. So basically, what's been happening is is. We literally have been fighting the same, like I fought in three, like three or four different corals, or a version of those corals. I fought like two or three different Marlboros. I fought like two or three different Iron Giants. Like start giving me variety with the, with the, with the, with the monsters I'm fighting here, bro. Like, cause I don't need to fight them. And then like how many times have we fought like different versions of these revenants? Like give me some new revenants, motherfucker. I mean, I'm gonna run these motherfuckers over cause you know, that's just how I do things. But. Seriously, it's just a win. Yeah, and then honestly, the side characters—if they're gonna be here—I like what Joshua's doing right now. But jo Joshua doesn't do that shit on a consistent enough basis. If these motherfuckers is gonna be our Donald and Goofy like Kingdom Hearts, then y'all gotta at least give us some sort of way in which to kind of like increase the frequency of their attacks like make them do stuff where it's like all right the, having this person here actually matters to an extent because realistically joshua ain't nothing but a spectator and i get the nigga sick but damn So many just means a lot more easy to shoot with the bail fire. I mean, Giga Flare. And then when you do with Giga Flare, hit him with this. And if that don't kill most of them, don't know what will. See? Real quick. Oh yeah, this place is definitely gonna play. This mission is gonna be replayed a couple different times when I'm trying to farm experience, because. This place is oozing experience.
per usual though the music in, in final fantasy is always a one i think uh this is what kind of like where a lot of my my love for classical music and my appreciation for it comes from but the music even sounds like ooh. cool yeah the music in final fantasy even sounds like uh oh got to Yeah, see? This is the version of the guard that we faced in the first fucking forest. Oh, see? Even fucking Clive is tired of this shit. Like, goddamn. Alright, I meant to hit you with Balefire, but whatever. I mean, Giga Flare. I keep calling it Balefire. So we just go hit them with a tornado. They're not gonna get lifted off the ground for it, but once they stand here in this little area, they'll stagger eventually. Got him. And we should be able to kill this one now. All right, and all the other super moves we can use in the other one. All these different elements. There we go. He's not gonna live through it anyway, so I'm still gonna do all that shit to him. There's gotta be something heavier that's gonna be coming from this. Like, see, who Joshua did something randomly, but what did you really do? Said don't summon any free. He didn't say nothing about semi priming. Damn. How many fucking enemies are they having come at us, bro? This shit turned into a real hack and slash, bro. I got something for y'all. Fuck the bullshit. Kill half of these dudes with. Damn, that shit goes that far? Now we get a, like a third version of this uh, orc. Now it's the Akashic version. Giga flare for the umpteenth time. You can probably stagger him before he gets it off, right? No? Guess not. Can we kill them? 
We don't have enough of the Sansin Suga in but... Level 4 will have to still do. Let's go. So his back is exposed. Maybe if we stagger him and just hit him with a bunch of uh, moves from Odin Sword. There you go. This should do it. There you go. Giga Flare. That should be the end of it. There we go. Yep. There's no end to them. The whole bloody army's here. Stand back, Joshua. I'm summoning a freight. Stop, Clive. You mustn't. We still have a long way to go. If you tap your strength here, you'll have none left to destroy the heart. Then you'd rather die? Oh, shit. Jill. Please tell me we get to keep them. to see us how did you gav he told us exactly where you'd be even sniffed out a crack in the castle wall and when we saw the heavens come crashing down we had no choice but to believe him <laughs> it's been quite a day <laughs> so what do we owe this honor a debt i would see repaid prince dion it's good to see you well. So, this must be Ifrit. Your uncle bade me give you a message. Listen to your heart. And guide your steel true. Your father would expect no less. That is all. Thank you. For everything, Your Highness. Dion, please. You do realize the only thing we've freed so far is this wall from its foundations, right? Now, if your lord and ladyship's uh, quite finished. <laughs> well said, Gav. We have work to do. This is usually a sign of a big and bad mission because they brought goods here with the freaking items just in case I didn't have none. Don't suppose is how I can say to make you change your mind. So I'll just tell you to stay safe. None won't take kindly to losing a best customer. 
Especially after letting us carry all this stuff all the way to Ash. And we wouldn't want to anger old Nan. You mean, you'll buy some of offers? You see, Clive, we're not alone. If we are to win the day, we must all play our part. And ours. Ours lies beyond those doors. We fought long and hard for this moment. Sid's dream, our dream, is within our grasp. We need only endure this final trial, and we shall, together. You all know what it is that awaits us beyond this gate. We shall face it together. I, I. It seems our hosts would rather we remain. We'll stay them. We will stay them. Go! Just don't keep us waiting. Thank you. They don't never let me keep nothing nice. What? Joshua! Joshua! Wake up! Clive, is that you? This... This isn't stone here. Grave and many are the sins of man. And we would have you know them, all of them. As fate has seen fit to deliver you home, consider this our welcoming gift. It would seem we are trapped. And the only way out is through Ultima. We find him and we leave. So where do we get teleported? Like, another thing, if Joshua had sealed Ultima inside himself, how come Ultima, every time there's something going on, he touches the outside world? Oh. 
If you are to comprehend the full extent of your transgressions, we must go back to the beginning. When the world was still young, we visited upon it a miracle, magic, and in its light did all life flourish. for this boon would prove heavy. A pall descended upon the land, painting the horizon black as night. Though we labored to forestall its spread, in this one endeavor we stood powerless. And so we fled, that we might endure, endure, that we might discover a means of salvation. It was magic that caused the blight. What of the Mother Crystals? I expect he'll tell us soon enough. So, it's not the Mother Crystals that's causing the blight, it's magic. But. Magic provide most of the crystals provide crystals provide aether, which lets people use magic. So what are you really talking about? Salvation, alas, was not readily to be had. First, we would require a land unvisited by the stain of corruption. An unprecedented journey lay before us one beyond the limits of our fleshly bodies. And so we cast them off. Thus stripped to our very spirit did we find our new paradise. A land as pure as driven snow, Valisthea. There would the true work begin, for the black crept yet behind us. And soon did we arrive at a solution, the illness having spread to every organ. There was but one escape from this fate, to start afresh. With a new world, the one for which Barnabas labored, a paradise free from the blight where his God awaits. Forfeit our wills and abandon everything we hold dear. Humanity can join him. So, Ultima would have us follow in the footsteps of the king. And follow we shall. For now. Ultima wants us to basically give up our humanity and wills and just be a cash and mindless drones. Fuck that. My question is, how does that fix the blight, though? You guys have this whole new land, but you haven't talked about the actual problem because the blight's still creeping up. Why? To forge. A new world would require not only power, but a constitution strong enough to wield it. Acquiring the first would be simple. Untouched by the blight, Valisthea was replete with ether, and we had only to place jewels in her crown to claim it. Acquiring the second, however, demanded creativity. And so I cast forth the seeds of humanity. You created us. Is 
that not what gods do? We sowed the seeds for you, Muthos, all that you might one day blossom. And our future thus secured, we thought to slumber, though that would prove a grave mistake. For it was as we slept that man committed his greatest sin. He awoke. Alone in a world bereft of his God's radiance, he stumbled blindly, desperate for guidance. Finding no light, he sought to kindle his own. And from that single errant impulse was his will born. Having discovered himself at last, man turned his eyes inward and found he desired evermore that which only magic might afford. So wars were waged and brothers slain for custody over that dwindling resource and the land she wept tears of black. You would condemn us for this. Surely he cannot be so blind to his own hypocrisy. Not blind, just unwilling to admit the truth. Though we are one and the same. Okay, so let me get this right. So Ultima is God, or their God, rather. So Ultima is their God, and he's mad at them because they developed free will while they slept, while the gods slept. And because they developed free will, they started using magic. And because they used magic, the blight came back. Yeah, it's wildly hypocritical. sin is wanting to survive, then you are as marked by it as we are. The fault is yours. Our wills were born because you abandoned us. And now, you would have us forfeit them. All for a place in your new paradise. Do you imagine yourselves worthy of one? Mankind has no place in our world. Is this truly so difficult to comprehend? We only ever require you, Muthos, when the time comes to bid this wretched realm farewell. None shall follow, none shall remain. What do you mean, none? This is our world. Once the land's rebirth is complete, humanity will have served its purpose. 
Why would we continue to suffer that which has caused us so much vexation? Because the land doesn't belong to you. It belongs to us all! What? That is where you are mistaken. You are nothing but your precious will. Brother. I can't do this alone. And you don't have to. I grow weary of your descent. Now you must learn that this master will not tolerate disobedience. My friends. My family. We have all suffered, all fought to survive. This world may be flawed, it may be broken, but it's all we have. And if we can't share it, I see only one other choice. You have to go. created us, Ultima. But it's time we lived on our own terms. This isn't your world anymore. It's us. 